video is intended for Kumon Fishers West students. Um, this is page 81 on level D. Uh, this is the first place where we begin the longer division problems. And this section is a level, uh, or this section of the level is rather long and the problems build up to six digits, although you see two digit numbers here. So it is very important to understand how to use the multiplication and simple division skills that you've gained leading up to this point. And one additional skill that you will need to use and perhaps develop here is an estimation skill. And uh, we'll talk about the estimation skills later. And the first problem here intends to show you, right here, intends to show you um, how your simple division skills and your multiplication skills are used to solve these longer division problems. Um, so you read this by saying 45 divided by 21. Now, this example was nice enough to tell you that you can skip this first space right above the 4 because 21 simply cannot go into a 4. Um, then the next question is, um, how many times can this 21 go into this 45? And again, this example was nice enough to show you that 21 can go into 45 two times. So what you will do is that you will put a 2 up here and then do your multiplication. What's 21 times 2? That's 42. So then you will write 42 here. And then the next step is to subtract 42 from 45. So 45 minus 42 is 3. And 3 cannot be uh, divided any further by 21, so at this point, we're going to use this 3 as our remainder and put that as our remainder. Uh, second problem here, once again, the example here was nice enough to show you that 21 cannot possibly go into a 4, so we're going to just go ahead and skip this space. And ask yourself, how many times can 21 go into 47? In other words, what is 47 divided by 21? And we know from up here that 21 times 2 was 42. So 42 is really close to 47 without going over the number, so that 2 is probably right. But let's take this as a 3. What would happen if we put a 3 there? Then when we multiply 21 times 3, we would get 63. Now when you compare 63 and 47, 63 is too large for 47 um, to subtract this from. We cannot do 47 minus 63. So we know that 3 was too large uh, for this division problem, so 2 here is the right one again. Um, we know once again 21 times 2 is 42, and when we do our subtraction, then we, we would end up with 5. And that's our remainder here. 2 remainder 5 is the answer to the problem 47 divided by 21. Now, let's move on to maybe number 6 which is a little bit more challenging. Um, we're working with two digit number in here, so we can imagine that there are two spaces, um, one above each number. Can 21 go into a 6? No. So again, we're going to skip the space, and we're going to put our answer down here. Um, what's 67 divided by 21? In another word, how many times can 21 go into 67? And this is where we need to estimate. If you cannot multiply your 21 quickly in your head, then you can say, hmm, let's see. Let's um, imagine that we can cover the number 7 here and cover number 1 here. And ask yourself, how many times can 2 go into a 6? And that's about 3. So let's see what happens when we put 3 up here. And this is an estimate. Uh, when you estimate, sometimes you're right, and sometimes you're close but not right. Let's see if we got right here. Um, 1 times 3, 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So 21 times 3 is 63, which is really close to 67, but it stays below it, which is what we want. And when we do our subtractions, we got 67 minus 63, which is 4. And so your remainder would be 4. So the answer is? three, remainder four. Let's jump way back to a three-digit number. And this is very similar to a two-digit division. But since we got three numbers inside this 
um, dividing sign. Let's imagine once again that there are three spaces where we could potentially put our answers. And the first step is to figure out where do we start. Can 41 go into a, a 3? No. So we want to skip that space above the 3. Can 41 go into 36? No again. So we skip that space as well. Now, can 41 go into 360? Definitely. But the more important question is, how many times can 41 go into 36? So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to estimate. Let's estimate by removing imaginary. In our imagination, let's remove that this 0 does not exist and this 1 does not exist. So we're going to take one number from each side and ask ourselves, how many times can 4 go into 36? We know that 4 times 9 is 36. So let's see what happens if we put a 9 there. 1 times 9 is a 9. 4 times 9 is 36. But look at that. Our 41 times 9 gave us 369, which is larger than this 360. So we wouldn't be able to do our next step, which is to subtract this number from that number. So our estimation was really close, but it's not quite right. It, was, it just gave us too large a number. So in that case, we go back and change our estimated number from 9 to 1 smaller than that, which is 8. And we'll, we will do our multiplications again. What's 1 times 8? That's an 8. What's 4 times 8? That's 32. Hey, that looks really close, so let's do our subtractions and see what happens. What's 0 minus 8? We can't do that, so we borrow 1 from the 6. So that's 2, and 6 becomes a 5, since it gave uh, a let 0 borrow 1 from it. So it'll be 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is nothing. So the remainder is 32. And one thing to keep in mind is that this remainder will always have to be smaller than this number, the dividend. Alright, good luck, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.